and welcome back my dear students today our target is to learn something about psi that uh, uh, what are the acceptable conditions for psi you know we have already learned the Schrodinger equation and if you solve Schrodinger equation you will get different values one or many many values of psi if you will get many values of psi okay many values of psi now are these all size are they acceptable whether all psi are acceptable or not this is the uh, question whether whether all psi are acceptable acceptable or not or not that is the condition the answer is simple answer is all size are not acceptable only certain values of certain values of psi are acceptable only certain values of psi are acceptable this is the fact okay now if you would like to describe a particular system i mean if you want to know what are the energy and other factors other different what are the momentum and what are other different parameters different parameters will describe a particular system and, and if you would like to got information about those parameters theoretically by the with the help of quantum mechanics i mean with the help of psi then we will have to consider only certain certain psi not all psi all psi are not acceptable now the question arises then what's what are those psi which are acceptable this is the question now a psi or the psi values which will fulfill three conditions three conditions they are they will be acceptable now what are those three conditions just follow me i am writing uh, writing one and one one by one okay first clearing this can canvas so actually i am now going to write acceptable 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 condition acceptable condition of shy acceptable condition of shy number one what is the condition of shy number one number one number one psi should be finite psi should be finite so it should not be infinite otherwise probability at any point will be infinite and that is not that is an absurd, absurd thing okay so psi should be finite this is the number one condition number two psi must be single valued at all points i mean psi must be single valued single valued at all points so it must be single valued at all all points and number 3 number 3 psi and its first derivative psi and its first derivative first if i r s t first derivative derivative must be continuous continuous okay psi and its first derivative must be continuous these are the three criteria this is the three condition if one particular psi or many psi fulfill this condition this would be acceptable and this would be used to describe a particular system now just try to explain one or two psi values whether they will be acceptable or not okay i am erasing the canvas okay just you consider a particular value of psi we have solved schrodinger equation for a particular system and we have got and we have got psi is equal to psi say again consider psi is a function of x only okay and we have got certain value of psi i am not writing down that 
we have got certain value of psi, like psi okay and if you plot this high x against x say you have you have got a curve like this now question is whether this particular psi value will be acceptable or not you see if in these values of x if you just extend this it, uh, in the upward direction you will get a particular value of psi here at a particular value of x again on the same x value we will again get another psi value again get another psi value and ultimately again get another psi value so this is not single valued so this is not not single valued so condition 2 is not being single valued so condition 2 is not being fulfilled so this psi will not be accepted okay now you consider another case say say this is psi again as a function of x here is x okay now you have got a curve like this okay okay say this now we just consider here one point okay psi value will be this at at this x psi value will be this here psi value will be this here psi value will be this so at different values of x we will get different values of psi so this is single valued at a particular point we will get a particular value of psi okay again it is continuous as well as it is continuous as well as it is finite so this particular psi is acceptable okay this is not acceptable this is not this is acceptable and we will actually encounter this kind of um, plotting in particle in one dimension and when we will discuss this the particle in one dimension okay hope you have understood what i would like to mean so you just remember for your exam uh, purpose the three condition what are the acceptable condition of psi number one just finite you just remember in this way finite number two it will be single valued single valued and number three it will be psi and its first derivative first derivative derivative should be continuous should be continuous okay so here is the uh, here I am finishing today's part. Let's enjoy your music. Bye bye. More entertainment. Log on and subscribe to www.youtube.com/slash Venus.